McQueen wanted this piece to be high-end couture jewellery, but contemporary and imitative as well. I cared more about the hats we made for him than anybody because he dealt in excellence. Swarovski started to work with Alexander McQueen in 1999 and it was really via Isabella Blow. I think when it came to the show of uh, The Widows of Culloden with McQueen, the first thing he said to me was, he said, I want you to use really precious metals and precious stones. So you had these two pieces, which was the nest with the eggs which resembled life, which was the beginning of the show. It was actually the first look of the show. And then near the end of the show, we had the skull with the black feathered plume, which was more about death. Two beautiful pieces reflected as two different elements of life. One thing Lee did say, he said, I'd like them to be like duck eggs. You know, the blue with the speckled brown. Blue topaz to create the main surface for the eggs. And then we had the smoky quartz, which we used the darker brown to make the speckles. And we had to lay all the stones on very tightly, very close, then drill out, preset. Then we would cast these in two halves. And the eggs went off to Philip Treacy, and then that's where he created his magic. They are beautiful. Birds' wings are incredibly complex and beautiful shapes anyway. So when it came to decorating the nest, I chose the mallard duck wings to go with it. And it just seemed very obvious to use them in its purest sense. And we actually wove the nest ourselves by hand. And if there's one person that I could credit for reintroducing Swarovski, um, into fashion. I absolutely credit Alexander McQueen. It was an amazing time. It was such an explosively creative time in the UK fashion scene and of course for Swarovski it was so exciting to be part of this. For him it was all about the show and its shows are about fleeting moments and whether it's a sort of glimmer of sparkle or whether it's a two-second experience where you're just witnessing something very transient, that's fashion.